Hifumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. Nah, it can't be. It can't be that Taka's dead, right? I... Taka, come on, wake up. Wake up right now. <laughs> come on, it's Justice Day! <laughs> you know, let's uh, let's go and study a little bit more, shall we? Uh, I... Uh... Mm. No. They were nightmares. This is harsh reality. Oh no! Oh, this is gonna be interesting. We have two murders. We have uh, two victims. We have two people dead. The true nightmare is this reality. The reality that I have to face every day. But still. What? Why is this happening? And then, wait, wait, hold, hold on, we have a Toko dead re here as well. The Toko? She's dead too! We have a third body! Eh, I doubt it, she probably passed out from Taka's body. Don't tell me! Toko too? Oh, <laughs> we're all gonna die! Relax, she just passed out when she saw the blood. The, the blood? Oh, that's right, when Toko is, um, Toko, she has a... F Fear of blood, huh? We tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her for, just leave her be for now. Or you know, you could just uh, try and get close to her ear and say that that you love her, and she's gonna wake up all lickety split, <laughs> just like that. You know, I think that is gonna that is gonna work for sure. It's like he said. I should just leave her alone for now. Uh, I don't know. That, uh, is this the fourth hammer? Another hammer. Now it's just this hammer four. And it's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? However, it could be it. But why is it just this hammer four? Well, isn't it obvious? Huh? What do you mean? Mm. Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer 1. Then Hifumi was hit with Justice Hammer 2. But this time it was Justice Hammer 4. What happened to number 3? Oh, I guess you don't... Uh... Ooh, how should I say this? Sakurai... Uh, let's say that uh, some birds don't really have that long... Uh, they, uh, like, uh, some... Parakeets don't live for that long, to be quite honest. I think you know where I'm going with this, right, Sakura? I... What? What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. He is dead too! What? Hifumi is being killed? Y yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. And we better go, go check it out. Dead. Of course, come on! Um. Shouldn't somebody, like. Okay, come on, guys. Uh, somebody should guard the, these, dead, these dead bodies over here, you know? So Sakura, Byaku, and I rushed out to the physics lab. But as soon as we are out of the physics lab... Oh. Ah! Oh, Celeste. Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Oh, uh, something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard. Hifumi is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that's... that is not all. It is gone. Well... Gone? What do you mean gone? Huh? What's gone? It... it, it has disappeared. D disappeared okay. Hifumi's body has disappeared Okay, what what the fuck what the what is going on over here? Oh my god Like what is gonna be next? What? 
What did you say? What, what, what are you talking about? It's disappeared? Don't, don't be ridiculous. Uh, I don't think she's telling lies this time around. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? I don't know. Yay. This day is getting crazier and crazier. Everyone, back to the nurse's office. My God, we're still on the run over here. I practically leapt down the down the stairs, nearly losing my pa losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office, completely out of breath. Uh, yeah, she was right. Yufumi's body is gone. I couldn't believe my eyes. Yufumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. Wait, wait, wait what does this mean? Uh, wasn't Celeste and Hina supposed to guard this place? Like, how how in the world did the body disappear? It just disappeared? Uh, Hina, can you explain to us this? Like, how did it disappear? Did it evaporate? Did it, like, uh, like sun, sun uh, combustion or something like that? Me and Celeste went to the bathroom, but we were already gone for like a minute. And then, when we got back... Indeed. This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Oh my lord. Well, what does this mean? Who could it be? Enjoying the sight of standing around, frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die here. Whoa, that's a little bit... Uh... Huh. We're all going to die, just like those guys did. Just like those guys died. What, what did you say? I, I, I don't believe this. <laughs> Man, I just love uh, Biakwe's expression. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Well, actually, hold on. Hmm. Why? First, there were two murderers, and now one of them, one of the bodies, has been taken. This is unnatural. Huh? Hold on. What do you mean, two murders? Hina. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It can't be Taka too. It can't be. It can't be. No! Hina. Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're gonna kill all of us. <laughs> then who might be? Who might the next target be? Toko. <laughs> Man, you were you were you were thinking of that, right, Bianca? You you were thinking of that since you left the equipment room. Yeah, just leave uh, just leave Toko in the equipment room. She's gonna be the next target. I don't mind. Huh? What? Ah! I completely forgot! She's still unconscious in the equipment room! Well... You left her at the scene of the crime? Yep! God damn it, people! <laughs> you... Don't trust... Uh, well... Of course, don't trust Biakuya, but... So, I told you to leave somebody to guard the body! Hmm. Now the, things, the, ne the next thing that is gonna happen is that Taka's body is gonna disappear too! We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? <laughs> that little smile of his right over there. Uh... So she's still unconscious? Damn. Wait, so you knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? <laughs> Wait, weren't you there as well? That annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We better be off without her. <laughs> bastard. You bastard! Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Oh my god. Everyone stop fighting. Right now we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Piaquia, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a nail. <laughs> Uh, 
We shot at the nurse's office and bolted up to the stairs, heading back to the third floor. Man, this is like, this is like the first time we've, uh, we went to like, like this. Man, Makoto is running for his life over here. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... Okay, well, Toko's body is still there. Well, I guess, uh, I guess Byakuya is gonna be sad right now. Ah, oh, damn it. Nobody, nobody took her, her body. <laughs> yeah, he, Taka's body disappeared too. What the hell? Thank God you're okay. But right away I noticed there was something very different here. Really? Is there like really anything different over here? I don't see it. I, I mean, I don't see. Except for the, for the, the disappearing of the body. For the disappearing body. Oh, uh, he was gone. Taka's body. Which should have been right there. Had disappeared. This is. <laughs> this can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all of this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before. And what I'm seeing now is. isn't what I saw before. Huh? What? Are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Oh man, Byakuya seems very surprised and more emotional this time around. <laughs> wow, letting yourself open like that. Sheesh, you are you are a different person, Byakuya. You are kind of scaring me right now. <laughs> anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. Well, as long as we. Yeah, you know, as long as we all stay together, nothing like that will happen. But but, but still, we're gonna have to try and find Kyoko and uh, Hiro. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well... Could he really be Hiro? I mean, it would be an obvious choice. I don't want Hiro to be the one. When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split up into two groups. Hmm. And now this time, you came all here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only one who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Oh, hold on a second! Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. I... Uh... I wouldn't say that it is a perfect alibi right now, given all everything that's happened right now. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. Hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. Well, of course. I do trust her a lot more than I trust you, Biakuya. Perhaps you are in love? Well, I cannot deny that. But, but, but what, what does this have to do with the investigation, huh, Biakuya? Th that's not it at all. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we're looking for can be none other than Hiro. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine Hiro being in a... Oh, not that I can imagine Hiro being in, like, weird costumes, but, a, like, a big costume like that would fit Hiro. He's pretty tall. And such. Which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Well, if it's w if it's one of us students, then yeah, the regulations shouldn't count for us. But you know, what if it is, what if it's a real Decepticon? Have you ever thought about that, Piaquia? Maybe he maybe he doesn't care about the regulations. He can just kill whoever he wants. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there will be not be there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule. Right, Mincia! Mincia without a second thought! Mincia, Grindia, turning to pace! <laughs> By the way, did you know that a first pace can also refer to shellfish? Like shrimp or crabs? That what? What? Uh, whatever. 
indeed. <laughs> yeah, that is like the only response there, indeed. So, since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. Um, Maybe he knew? But still, uh, just the fact that uh, we all left uh, Toko alone must have been a pretty good feeling for Byakuya nonetheless. <laughs> I still meant it when I said we'd better be off without her, though. <laughs> yep, called it. In other words, anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two people have been killed, and their bodies have been hi hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it is... Is Hiro. But is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where the where'd she go? What? Hey Kyoko. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say Kyoko. Hey Makoto. Hey Makoto. What's the matter? Huh? Oh, oh no, it's nothing. Hmm. Whatever. We need to find those bodies, or our little narrative here can move forward. So then. Very well. Then let us split and begin searching. But. Uh, but. <laughs> there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. Um, mm, I, mean, I know that. I mean, I, I think I do. But Hina. if she's still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Okay. Thank you. Uh, such a good friend Sakura is to Hina. No need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Byakuya left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. Alright, well... Um, okay, well, this is gonna be a really, really, really interesting case. It is gonna be definitely interesting. So... Alright, well... The physics lab is... Uh, is pretty much all covered. Let's see about the art room. Let's see about the art room indeed. I can assume that uh, there's going to be lots of blood over here. Hina, do you, did you find like anything? Huh? Where could two dead bodies have disappeared to? I don't know. It is definitely a mystery. Maybe the trash room! I doubt it. We need to search for the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Whatever, what happens after that is definitely a mystery. Could they be inside? Huh? The door must be locked. Wait, locked? What do you mean locked? Um. Uh. Okay. Alrighty then. I am sure that we're gonna come back to this particular place at some point. But for right now, let's uh, check the recreation room, maybe? Let's see. Uh, alright, there's the first hammer over there. Celeste. Was she really attacked with this Chester's hammer one? But what the heck is with this thing? Yeah, I mean, where did he take, uh, where... Where did he have all these, um, hammers? I don't really understand this. Could it be like the classrooms and such? I wonder where Kyoko and Hiro are. There must be some... Getting tired of this. Yeah, I'm getting tired of this as well. So many questions! Racing through my mind! Oh, hey, Celeste. Makoto! Come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Okay, I was searching the bodies. You don't need... You don't need, you don't need to be like that, you... You bastard. Huh? You mean, wait, rep repository? Ah, oh, I knew it. They found the bodies there, right? Indeed. I found them. Hifumi and Taka's bodies had both been hidden in the repository. Yep, figured as much. The door has been has been unlocked. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in the repository? Oh, surprise, surprise. Well, actually, hold on. Let me just uh, check this as well. Uh, I need to hurry up to the repo- God dang it. You could just, like, take a peek inside and see if there's, like, anybody there. 
I mean, it is gonna be all your fault, Makoro, if uh, if the criminal or whoever it was was inside that classroom and you didn't you didn't want to check the classroom because we have to check the dead bodies over here. All right, well, let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go, people. Chop, chop. But yeah, I was thinking about this. About how the door to the repository was locked. Are the bodies here somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, what do you have to say? Uh, I have to wonder where they could have been hide, where they could have been hidden. Oh, they could have been hidden in the, uh, in the, uh, in the repository, like right over here. Up ahead is the repository. The door knob turned. I guess it's unlocked. Then I have no choice but to go inside. So I opened the door, and when I entered, a fire nightmare has occurred. I saw. Oh! Oh no! He who be a taco are dead! Ah! Wait, I already knew that. The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. <laughs> what I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. That wait, what? Second time. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Huh. Interesting. And so here we are! It's the Monokuma file! Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file! <laughs> I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right! Just hand it over already. Punishment is waiting for you! Punishment is waiting for you! Now, make sure to investigate all your mental might and prepare for the class trial. See ya later! Hmm. Alright, well, time for the investigation. Oh boy, this is gonna be a hard one, isn't it? Well then, now that we found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? Hold on! How could it be so, so calm? Uh, it's Biakwea we're talking about. Are you really that surprised? I mean, they're dead, you know? That's terrible! Dead! Gone forever! They're never coming back! Oh. Awful! This is all just awful! <laughs> Hidna suddenly burst into tears. Uh well, I'm sorry, you know. She clutched at she clutched at Hufmi's lifeless body. Who, who would do this? Why? Why? Large, wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears led on Hifumi's cheeks. If this were some world of make-believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this is not a world of make-believe. There is no such thing as magical... like magical tears. Bringing people... Bringing people alive. From the dead. There's no way. But this wasn't a movie. Or a fantasy. Ah. Uh, are you f What? <laughs> are you fucking serious? This wasn't... <sighs> He's alive again? I... Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything. 
Before I met you all, I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. Oh, the light, it's reaching out to me. Now come on, Yamada! Don't die! You still have some fighting spirit in you! Like the tail of a comet. Now he's seeing the light! Hey, Fumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. Hero. Uh, Hero? Was it really Hero? He said his name. His eyes closed. And they never opened again. Danganronpa.